Hello guys, it is easiest and straightforward way to upload your source code on your Git. What source code is, it's basically the coding of your projects. Okay, why Git first of all? Git, it is free, open source and you can easily use other people's open source project without any problem. And you can do much more collaborative work. It means two, three or four people can work on the same project and this at the same time without effect on the others so this is the main guideline of this project first I'll tell you how to download it then we'll install it then sign up it uh, login we'll create repository of your new project what repository is repository is the folder of your source code your files that will be uploaded on the internet okay then we'll upload that project on the git server and okay that's it let's begin okay first of all okay we'll start from downloading the git project just write on google.com git svn git svn SVN is nothing but you just have to remember you go to get scm.com or just go from Google is much more easier than remembering your project okay here it is whichever operating system you have right now I'm using Windows 10 basically so I'll use the Windows okay I have 64 bit operating system and you don't have to check which operating system you have basically because it will automatically start up according to your operating system as I have it downloaded so I'll cancel it and just install it will ask you just click next next you don't have to you don't have to change anything uh, in this tallest process basically. Okay, and it's installed now. Uh, you get right there. So after installing the Git, you can sign up on GitHub, where you can upload your projects and the source code of your projects okay so it needs my username first I'll write sas tech uh, you can write whatever you want to and username is already taken so I have to write that's it one two three okay my ID ID uh, it needs password just remember it needs a uh, password with one numeric number so whatever you So I fill my details. And the second step, it needs to choose my plan. So there is public plan and private plan. I'll choose public right now. Okay. So it needs my. Uh, so in third step, it needs my. So in third step, it needs my answers. Okay, what well, would describe the programming experience? Uh, I am somewhat experienced. Okay, we plan search design. Uh, I don't want to specify right now. Okay, close. I'm a student. Interested in HTML, CSS, Java, script. That's it for right now. Okay, submit and voila. Your GitHub is created. Your account is created right now. Okay, so we have sign up and somewhat we have login. This is our first time. Okay, 
it's done you sign up signed up and log in now create repository what is repository basically repository is your folder that will be on internet okay start a project uh, and it needs to verify my email address so I already opened my Google and you can see there's a github okay now I have verified my email and that's it it's done it's verified my email so I can start a project right now okay it's okay it needs create a new repository that means you have to create a folder on internet where you can put your source code in it I'll write um, for youtubers description if you want to give I don't, I don't want to give it right now create repository okay GitHub is already giving us uh, some chunks of code. We will use this one because we have existing repository. Okay, we have. Okay, we already have a piece of code. Piece of code here. First, we'll check if the website is running or not. Okay, now it's working. So we will go to Git Bash. And write git in it first, it will initialize your project. Now we'll add git add dot so git add these files. Now git comment dash m and we'll write whatever uh, the message we want to tell the other contributors. So Scan one. Okay. So it's done. Okay. After comment locally, we add these two commands, or you can use shortcut here. This command first. Now, I can edit. Now, okay. and my locally committed code is now my locally committed code is now on the internet. Now, just refresh it, and you can see my code here. Similarly, I can copy or download someone else's code like this. Just click on download and download it yourself. 